Okay, so hey, that's just a follow-up video. Um, I did one earlier about kind of reviewing this rod and reel from Placino. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Placino. And uh, yeah, I've had the thing. It's done great. I've had it for years now, and but it is, it's really kind of end of life. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to basically get rid of this one just because it really is really is giving me more trouble than is needed. So I'm going to take this one down and I'm going to take a look at the new one. So I just got this one and uh, check it out. Yeah, so let me just, as far as the old one goes, that's one of the ones I like to use. Uh, saltwater fishing mainly, but every now and again I go after some bass. I'll save that. I'll get rid of uh, yeah, get rid of the line and everything. It's all old and beat up. Uh, same with the pole. It's in, as I showed in the other video, it's the eyelets. I've lost some of the eyelets. Uh, I've lost the bottom cap there along the way. And then the whole thing kind of, kind of is sliding. The whole thing slides. So it's, yeah, it's going to have to go to the recycle. All right, let's take a look at the new one though. This is... The new kit, or the new model, and I've already kind of opened it up. So it comes with all right. Comes with a new rod, very cute. It's got a little, if you can see that, it's got a little fish on it, <laughs> a little embossed fish. All right. Made in China. Okay, keep out of a uh, keep out of electrical storms and watch out for power lines with it. All right, so got the cap. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's good. Good. All right, so there's the rod. This is the reel. Very quiet. Okay, let's pull it back. Okay, and so we insert that. Okay. Tighten those up. That was definitely a rubber gasket to slow it down. Good. Okay, we are installed here. I'll get some line on it, of course. It actually comes with a little manual here. Okay, installation reel, screwing mechanism, yeah. Okay. Okay, how to add your line. There's a little line hole there on the spool. Okay, a little fish keeper you can install. I mean, a little gimmicky here, but it's a little plastic piece. You can step on it. This one did even come with a very small Kind of a micro tackle box, but this is cool. Okay, some soft plastics. And it's got a hard lure here. Looks like we got a jig head. Okay, another another hard lure. Okay, a couple hooks. Another jig head. So, yeah, a couple jig heads, um, looks like we got four, four large hooks, also got, there's a the little piece if you wanted to install that on the reel, or on the rod, uh, to keep your lure connected onto this piece, I could, I could try that and see how it looks, 
There's a couple weighted jig heads, lead weighted ones there. All right, some snaps, swivel snaps. Okay, yeah, not bad. Uh, I mean, these look these look really cheap. <laughs> I'll try them out. Tell you what I'll do is just for fun, I'll take this out and I'm going to only fish with this gear and just see what happens. Uh, this is not normally what I, I fish with, but it's worth trying. Now it also came with some line, which is, it's a flooring line, rounder, smoother and thinner and stronger. Three, six kg. I have to do the math. How many pound test this is? But this looks, um, this looks like a really lightweight line. But okay, there it is. So I get it loaded up with, um, loaded up with fresh line. I don't think I'm gonna use a three pound line. But. And we'll see if I can get another. Get another three good years of salt water and fresh water use out of this bad boy. Okay, so I am going to try this one out. So, a um, couple ways to do this. I'm just going to tie this off. There's probably an easier way to tie this off here. Yeah. I'm sure there is. I'm just going to go an old school square knot and then um, hope I don't catch a monster fish that's going to run my entire line out. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, so it really shouldn't be that big of a deal. So now you're going to flip it back over and then, so in my case I didn't run it through the eyelets, so what I'm going to do is just grab a shop towel here. Just a little shop towel, I'm going to fold it up like this. Okay. And then, what you want to do really is have somebody hold on to the shop towel. And what I'll do is extend out one length of the pole here. Try to do this all with just one hand, so might be a little tricky. Now I'm going to take the shop towel here, or you know whatever you have, and wrap it around the line, and then I can hold on to that and start reeling. That just gives a little bit of friction on the line as it comes onto the spool. <laughs> Okay, let's cut that off. That's looking good. And so here is my final product. Next, all I gotta do now is just cut the line off here. And then you can either just wrap it around and you can just put underneath this little plastic bit there. So that, that'll hold your line until you're ready to, um, you're ready to gear it up. And now you are ready to go out and go fishing. And for me, I'm probably not gonna use this case at all. Um, I mean, it looks kind of cool and everything, but like I said in my other video, for me, I like to use my travel, my travel tackle box, so 
got one of these ugly stick tackle boxes that I've got my bike mount set up on. And uh, I ride my bike over to one of the ponds. So, so anyhow, more to follow. I will report back. I will have it do a video actually out on the fishing site at <laughs> one of the ponds or maybe even go out and do some saltwater fishing with it from the shore or go out wading with it. Um, but I really am curious to try a couple of these to see, kind of see what uh, what they do for these cheapy lures. I've got low expectations, but, but heck, it's, it's worth a try. Definitely worth a try. Hey, Poppy. No, sir. Apollo. What are you barking at? Huh? What are you barking at? No, sir. No bark? No bark.